gets home free to the checkered flag. Turn three and four. Brian Howard has the white flag in hand. One more time around the mile and a half. It's really great for the power team and, and, and the whole AJ Foyt team. You know, that, that team has struggled a little bit, and uh, I feel really happy for them. They, they really needed this. 32-year-old veteran from Karlstad, Sweden. And as we mentioned, he has tried and tried. And on his 14th try, Kenny Brack is going to victory lane in the Pep Boys IRL. He wins the Visionaire 500 for A.J. Foyt and the rest of the team. And a dominating victory by five and six tenth seconds on Jeff Ward. Well, it really was with all the trouble they had in the... 96 complete. And look here. Look here, Tony Stewart is on the pit road as well. Both Menard cars come into the pits. Kenny Breck still the leader. And of course, all he's going to do is get a quick splash of fuel. Both the Menard cars decided they could not make it. They tried, but the car sputtered. Now Tony Stewart's back underway. And of course, the question will be, can Kenny Breck make it? He last stopped along with Billy Boat on the 119th lap. And Paul, maybe we can't answer that, but I'll tell you what the transmission was just now. Go to fifth gear. Go to fifth gear. Please. Oh, look at this. You. Billy Boat currently slowing on the back stretch. That answers that question. And so now you got to ask what's going to happen with the leader of the race, Kenny Breck. White flag comes out. Car 14, turn five. Oh, they've stretched this all the way. We better make sure we know who second, third, Car and fourth 14, is. Right now, he crossed the line with 10 seconds ahead of everybody else. Kenny Breck, power team car. And he turns for the line. Dual checkered flags from Brian Howard. Here's second place. That's Larry Curry talking to Tony Stewart. All Pitek, stay with your car that you're assigned to. And of course, A.J. Foyt, absolutely ecstatic, but yet he's sitting here in a green timing stand, and right over our shoulder, you can see what happens with the team. That conversation with these Brad? Well, from where they started tonight, it's not going to be a bad finish. No, Tony Stewart. They've got to be happy with that. They're in the championship chase, and they run to the finish. White flag for Kenny Brack. Davey's right there. I mean, you know, we're talking a, a half a dozen car lengths. Davey Hamilton, after four third-place finishes, looking for his career best in the Cup Boys Indy Racing League tonight. There he is in second place. And out of turn four, driving A.J. Foyt's power team car, the first driver to win three Pep Boys IRL races in a row. Kenny Breck takes the checkered flag. Battle for third place to the line. Eddie Cheever off pace by five miles an hour, but he's going to hold off Scott Goodyear. Cheever will finish third. Goodyear is fourth. Tony Stewart is fifth. Jeff Ward hangs in for sixth. And Mark Dismore, the fastest car on the track in the closing laps, is seventh. Ari Leyendike, Andy Mitchner, and Raul Boisel. He's in sixth position now. Ward to the inside of him. Wow. Now that, that was Brave and Robbie's part. Robbie, you have that middle book of drivers, but with rookies, you're missing some changes in that book. Three laps to go. One point. Car 55. He just begun it. Breck is closing in. The interval is down to less than one and a half seconds. I think some of that has been the trouble that Robbie's experienced in traffic. Here's the interval between the two. Breck clearing the slower car there. Uh, Kenny Breck closing the gap, Bob. I'm not sure if they might be running low on fuel. Five laps to five miles to go. Two laps. He might have lost the pickup in the last corner. I think Robbie is real nervous right now. We heard him say, I think we're going to run out of fuel.
flag is about to come out at Indianapolis. He's, he's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. Wow. Robbie Gordon is out of fuel as Kenny Brack comes out to take the white wow. flag. One more lap to go in the Indy 500. Incredible heartbreak for Robbie Gordon out of fuel. And now A.J. Foyt's pit. Bob, it's the biggest race in the world. You've got to go. You've got to gamble. They did, and they lost. Some of these people.